just got a victory yesterday here in Las Vegas. Make some noise for Errol Smith Jr. Also here, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the new world champion, undefeated. He is the dog, Anthony Durrell. Ladies and gentlemen, this man needs no introduction. 29 and 0, 17 wins by way of knockout. A world champion. Make some noise for Daddy Swift Garcia. He also got a victory left yesterday, ladies and gentlemen. He is here, also undefeated. Make some noise for Julian J. Rock Williams. Also here, ladies and gentlemen, representando Puerto Rico, an undefeated record. You'll be seeing him win a world title very soon. Make some noise for Richard Colon. Three money team members back to back. Make some noise for Patu Jack the Ripper. Luis Guaria. And a treasure. Undefeated knockout sensation represents the money team, Ronald the Thrill Gabriel. Ladies and gentlemen, he is making his way to the stage right now. Make some noise. The twin brothers, Jamal and Jamal Charlo. Ladies and gentlemen, he hails from East LA. You know him as La Culebra of the Latin Snake, Sergio Mora. Ladies and gentlemen, he's making his way to the stage as well. Make some noise for Fernando Guerrero. Ladies and gentlemen, he will be back to win a world title very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for Mr. Showtime, Sean Porter. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special fighter here, a former world champion. Sitting down here, ladies and gentlemen, please stand up. Everybody stand up and put your hands together for the one and only
to you by Mayweather Promotions, Golden Boy Promotions, and Showtime Pay-Per-View. Sponsored by Corona, La Cerveza Más Fina, O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day. Mexico, live it to believe it, and The Equalizer, starring Denzel Washington in theaters September the 26th. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we begin our weigh-in with the opening bout of our pay-per-view card, 10 rounds of boxing in a middleweight special attraction. First, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage at this time, from Harlingen, Texas, please welcome James Day.
starts our pay-per-view show, James De La Rosa Alfredo Angulo. Alright James, as you look forward to this fight tomorrow, we need to be doing this as an opportunity of lifetime. Yes sir, and uh, seeing an upset too tomorrow. How do you go about preparing for a guy like Angulo, who you know is just relentless and so keep coming after you and be willing to take so many shots? Uh, I, trained, I trained very well for this and uh, I had perfect sparring for, for his type of uh, lifestyle. So. Nervous, you anxious? Not at all. Very anxious to get in the ring already. All right, James. Best of luck. Thank you. All right. Let's bring in Alfredo. In English? Okay. How are you doing after your last bout against Canelo? Currently, he is ready for the back. And first of all, for the people, my fans over here, they support me all the time. Sir. Honestly, James De La Rosa, he said thank you so much for giving me the fight. And I know he's a good, really good fighter. And I have a record saying he beat, you know. And then all the time when two Mexicans hit to agree, he's a really good show. And especially on September 16th, Independence Day, the Mexican, I stay there. And I have a really good show. Would you like to say something as fast? Muchas gracias a todos mis fans, los quiero mucho, gracias por apoyarme y soportarme. Que sea mañana vamos a hacer la gran pelea. Y vamos a levantar la mano porque quiero ver la gran a todos. Here we go, 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Lightweight Championship of the World. Please welcome to the stage at this time the challenger fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Cleveland. Here is Mickey. And now making his way to the stage, the defending champion, having held this title for over four years from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Miguel.
to the scale for this, the IBF Lightweight Championship of the World 135-pound weight limit. First, we invite the challenger with one defeat in his 23 professional bouts, fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Cleveland. Once again, here is the challenger, Mickey Bay. Knockouts, making the seventh defense of his title from Guadalajara. Here is the IBF lightweight world champion, Miguel Dintere Vasquez. Miguel Vasquez weighs in right at the limit of 135 pounds.
Junior Welterweight Championship on the line. So make sure you come early tomorrow. Once again, pay-per-view starts at 5 o'clock. Doors open very early tomorrow night. We have two more fights to weigh in for our pay-per-view card. Following that, we have plenty more fighters to weigh in, so don't go away. We can see all the way to the fighters as they're upcoming. But coming up next on deck, we have Leo Santa Cruz against Manuel Roman. That's for the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. Following that, of course, the weigh-in for the main event, Mayhem Mayweather versus Maidana 2 for the WBC Welterweight, the WBA Welterweight, and the WBC Super Welterweight Championship of the World. That, of course, is our main event. I ever want to bring to your attention, we're going to pause for about five minutes. We're going to bring out our fighters for the next weigh-in at that time. every day, Mexico, live it to believe it, and the Equalizer, starring Denzel Washington in theater September the 26th. All right, fans, here we go, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. Now, please welcome, making his way to the stage, the challenger, WBC number 13th ranked Bantamweight, introducing Manuel Suavecito. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the defending champion from Huetamo, Michoacan, Mexico. He is the undefeated WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Leo Santa Cruz! Manuel 
Romain weighs in at 122 pounds, right at the limit, 122. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the two-weight division world champion from Michoacan, Mexico, defending an undefeated WBC Super Battlefield champion of the world, Leo. Leo Santa Cruz weighs in at a ready 121 pounds. Super Bantamweight Championship of the World, Leo Santa Cruz, Manuel Ross. If you win, everybody's going to say, okay, so what? He beat some guy that he should have beat. Yeah, no, uh, I, just come, I just come prepared for every fight. Like, I always, if it's the best fighter there is, uh, to the world fighter, I prepare the same. I don't understand me nobody, and every fighter out there is really hard, so uh, you never know. How excited are you to be the co main feature? Well, I'm very excited. Uh, this was my dream when I was small. So growing up, I tried really hard to make it to this level. And thanks to the fans and to all of my people, they are the ones that got me here. I want to give you thanks. And on September 13th, I'm going to go out there and give a great fight for you guys. Thank you. In Las Vegas, Nevada, we present the official way in for the feature of the by Corona, Mas Cerveza, Mas Fina, O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day, Mexico, live it to believe it, and The Equalizer, starring Denzel Washington in theaters September the 26th. Right fans, it is time to bring out the fighters for the rematch main event, it's showtime with Mayhem, Mayweather versus My Donna 2. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the stage, here is the challenger, the hard-hitting and determined number two contender, ready to avenge his loss from Santa Fe, Argentina. Here is Marcos and Chino.
welterweight, six rounds of boxing, three and one, three by way of knockout, Caleb Rubin. And also, ladies and gentlemen, in the cruiserweight division, seven and oh, seven by way of knockout, Andrew Tabini. John Molina to the scale. Coming to the scale next, ladies and gentlemen, 
100% knockout ratio, representing the money team, Hugh the Beast, Andrew Tavine.
Super middleweights, four rounds of boxing. Coming to the scale first, Azumar Umarzola.